Tov, good morning. We continue with our three-minute daily dose of Torah. Uh, this week, studying Parshat Tazria, and the description the Torah has in great detail of the way Tzarat might be experienced. Tzarat, which we um, refer to as leprosy, it's not leprosy as in the medical um, um disease that involves limbs falling off. It's instead a real skin disorder of some kind. And, um, and there are uh, spiritual, spiritual causes and spiritual healings that the Torah ascribes to Tzarat. So let's actually we'll spend most of our time, I think, talking about um, the causes of Tzarat and the severity that will follow. So today, let's take a look at the, the, the Midrash in Vayikra Rabbah. Al asara devarim negaim ba'im al al adam ba'im. Excuse me. Right there are there are ten different reasons, things that can cause negaim these um, these blemishes on the body to come upon someone. Al avodazara for idolatry, but al giloy arayot and for the uh, transgression of uh, in sexual um, relations. And for murder. So there you have what's what's generally referred to as our three most cardinal sins that a person can can transgress. So apparently, Sarat can come for them. Okay. We have verses that will prove most of these. And also for the desecration of God's name. And also for cursing God. Someone who um, um, steals from the community, Baal gozel she'eno shelo, and for in general, someone who steals something which is not, that which is not his, Baal gaseh haruach, and for those people who are um, who are arrogant, ve'alashon hara, and also for evil speech, ve'al ayin ra, and ayin ra, which generally means um, stinginess. Okay, this what an interesting collection of things for which uh, Tzarat might come upon a person. All from idolatry on the one hand to stinginess on the other. So those are all listed there. Let's talk about then the source for um, the assertion that Lashon Hara is a cause. Lashon Hara, me Miriam. We, can, we most directly find the connection between them and the discussion of Miriam. Uh, where it says, but to the bear Miriam Aaron be Moshe, um, Miriam and Aaron speak against Moshe. Um, and how do you know that she, uh, when the Midras asks, and how do you know that she was given Sarat? As the verse continues, the, um, the cloud of God removed itself from upon the tent of meeting. He named Miriam mit Sarat Kashal again. Poof, there is Miriam. With sarat like snow, and the verse later on in Devarim tells you, "He shamer ben egat sarat lishmor maod." Right, um, you should be very careful in regarding sarat um, to, to be to protect yourself. And then it goes on to say, just after that, next verse, "Zochor tasher asash and lokech lemer yam adirch zemim." Sorry, remember what a god did to Miriam, and so. Um, it's right, again re- re- reiterating that the relationship between um, um, her having received Sarat is um, you know it relates to that storyline and that we should and that's for all of us to learn lessons from. Tomorrow, God willing, we'll spend a little more time to develop this idea. Wishing you all a great day. Don't talk much on hurrah.